Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Med Edophilia. In today's video, it's all about students' perspective of why NEET is so difficult to crack. Why are the number of droppers increasing every year? Why are students not able to crack NEET in their very first attempt? So the main motive of this video is to list out the possible reason causing NEET to be dreaded and feared among students and list out the possible solutions students can take from their sides to beat and overcome all these difficulties. So let's get straight into the video. The very first reason for why NEAT is difficult is the extreme competition. Yes, there's no doubt that NEAT is a challenging exam and here we are talking about a single level medical entrance exam all over the country which is conducted once a year with lakhs of students taking part in the exam and with limited seats offered in the desired college. To beat the cutthroat competition and secure a seat on the MBBS course, students need to qualify for the exam with relatively good marks and this year more than 18 lakh students have registered for NEET 2022. This has increased the competition many fold for every seat of MBBS in the government medical college. The number of registrations are increasing. The number of students appearing are increasing. Out of lakhs of students, only a few get selected in a good government college. And the level of difficulty is also ranging from easy to moderate level. So therefore the cutoff is increasing. So the affordable fee structure of the government college makes it even more challenging for students to secure a seat there. So applicants must score a competitive mark rather than just aiming for the cutoff to succeed in getting a seat in their preferred course. 480 and above is just a marginal score that will help you get through the state quota and less than this student get, can get admission to private medical colleges. This extreme competition of NEET is one harsh reality that we all must accept and at the same time it is important for you to get yourself through the competition. Be aware of the level of competition. This level of competition should only drive you further and further towards your goal of achieving NEET and not demotivate you and never get the idea of quitting and never get the idea of giving up just because this idea of extreme competition might seem stressful and overwhelming. So you should accept this harsh reality of the extreme competition and prepare yourself towards this competition and this is smartness. Now moving on to the next reason which is the lengthy syllabus. The entire syllabus of class 11 and 12 is what is being tested for NEET. NEET mainly tests your memory power and retention skills. And there are too many confusing terms which students find it unusual, difficult and stressful. And they are unable to get a proper concept clarity. They are not able to reproduce and reflect what they have learned in the actual exam. So it doesn't matter. Nobody is going to ask you how much hard work you put. How much did you study for the entire two years? What it all matters is the marks you get for in actual NEET exam. The three hours, 20 minutes is what ultimately matters. Having a thorough understanding of NEET syllabus will help students in dividing their time efficiently to cover all the topics before the exam. And since the syllabus is vast, it is crucial to give the necessary time to cover each topic comprehensively in a detailed manner. And moreover, a proper analysis of the NEET syllabus will help students demarcate and prioritize the important and less important topics and students will therefore get a grip of how to manage simultaneously for board exams and your NEET preparation. This syllabus is the same for everyone who is writing NEET. Remember that the only thing which is different is what we reproduce, what each one of you reproduce in the exam. That matters a lot. 
so now in the beginning it might seem breathtaking and overwhelming of just imagining that you have to reproduce the entire syllabus of class 11 and 12 in your neat paper but trust me at the end of the preparation of two years you will be confident you will be ready to face the exam when you accomplish your daily tasks of studying a particular topic your concept clarity will build on and you can definitely ace neat just remember one thing you are not the only one sailing the boat so trust me the lengthy syllabus will just seem like a piece of cake at the end of two years when you complete your entire preparation okay the next reason or the next challenge for neat aspirants is that to balance school and neat or to balance neat and extracurricular activities that is their hobbies so first talking about balancing neat and school that is and preparation for their board exams i would say the syllabus is entirely the same it's class 11 and 12 syllabus and that is what they're going to do in school as well as for neat exam so the syllabus is the same okay only the method of studying and the approach towards the exam differs but the concept and your understanding is all the same isn't it so you should never feel this as a burden whether you're doing it for school or neat you don't even have to segregate it and feel it as a burden you just need to make sure that you allocate three or four hours every day for your need preparation for solving mcqs for solving mock tests apart from your school work so when you do this every day in a long run this is going to definitely help you and you will realize yourself that you are actually balancing your school with neat very well without even realizing it now talking about your extracurricular activities and your hobbies now i will say that neat is just not something that happens overnight or over a week's time it is one two full years okay so that determination that motivation is something you need for a very very long time it's a long time journey okay so by cutting down your hobbies by cutting out cutting down your relaxation time this is not going to help you you should de- definitely have a stress stress out break point where you need to absolutely calm yourself down because sometimes or many times i would say this journey will turn out to be very stressful for you so you need to have some time you need to allocate some of your time to your ha- hobbies your passion and something you like all you can do is just reduce the time you had allocated before that is you were doing what you were doing in your class 10 and 9 and just reduce the time but don't stop it because when you do it when you totally cut down it for a long time you might get demotivated you might turn very stressful and you might not do well in your neat pre- preparation so don't be too hard on yourself you should definitely have some time in a day where you can absolutely relax yourself and calm your body as well as your mind by doing this you will definitely ace neat okay the next one is i would consider this as rather a mistake that is referring multiple sources and following wrong books multiple online resources and notes even now students are having this question of whether ncrt books are they really enough for cracking neat or not okay and they tend to waste a lot of time in trying to understand higher level concepts in solving complicated questions that are way higher than what neat actually tests this ultimately leads to demotivation stress anxiety and a lot of waste of time for neat preparation the only main guidance is ncrt 
the only main book that you should follow line by line word by word is ncert and apart from that where some concepts in ncert where it is not elaborately mentioned for you to understand properly in that cases you should follow one single book okay and you should not keep changing it and you should not keep referring to other sources so decide on a book and follow it till the end of your preparation so this book can be anything whether the modules given in your uh, uh, institution or anything so even in those modules you don't need to break your head in understanding all the concepts given just try to read and understand the concepts which are related to your ncert and a little indirect from ncert so that you are able to tackle any question framed directly or indirectly from ncert the next reason and the next point is i would say is a continuation of the previous point is that underestimating ncert i needn't say but if we see in the recent years then we will find that in biology almost every question is asked directly from the ncert textbook and for inorganic and organic chemistry questions are asked directly from ncert again for physical chemistry also questions are asked based on the formula given in ncert book and nothing else apart from what is given in ncert for physics questions are asked from ncert solved examples and some theoretical questions from ncert so we can conclude that most of the neat paper is just directly from ncert so you should revise ncert multiple times there is no ambiguity in the importance of ncert textbooks for neat they are regarded as the best guide for neat and most questions are asked directly related to these textbooks so i here also want to emphasize on the fact of reading the uh, and solving questions from the ncert exemplar book this is something which not most of the teachers will tell you is that solving ncert exemplar is also very crucial for your neat preparation and many questions have been asked directly from this ncert exemplar book so make sure after reading your ncert and after practicing a number of questions make sure to go through the ncert exemplar as well the next reason again i would say is the continuation of the previous points and is related to it that is reading ncert in a wrong way so the first mistake is story reading just reading it like a story and not understanding the importance of the words and the meanings hidden in between the lines so you should always read from the view point of the examiner so the first time you read is to make yourself understand the concepts and yourself understand the meanings hidden within the line and the second time you read should be from the view point of the examiner and the third time you read is based on your weaker topics and the most forgettable topics so the next mistake is that always reading from the first topic to the last topic okay this will lead to a lot of waste of time especially during your revision okay you should read it from the first line to the last line only the first two three through times you read rest all times you should always start reading from the most forgetting topics to the known confident easy topics so now you might ask what is the benefit of doing this always when we sit for studying the first 20 to 30 minutes of reading is the time of deep focus and maximum attention so covering the weaker topics and forgetting topics during this time of deep focus will help you easily re- recall and remember and you will no more categorize these topics into the forgetting topics but what happens when you read it the other way around that is the norm and conventional reading from the first to the last topic you are going to spend maximum attention on that introduction part where it is fully dragging okay not many 
points are given you tend to spend a lot of time on that and by the time you reach the important topics your attention span would have come to an end now that's why i recommend you that when you read for the n- the next three third time and the fourth time you read ncrt you should always focus on the difficult topics and then move on to your easy known confident topics the third tip here is to go through every topic of ncrt without skipping any topic no matter how small it is or how much you feel it is least important how much you might feel that it is that examiners might not test you while preparing ncrt so neglecting physics and ncrt completely neglecting ncrt for organic chemistry is some of the major mistakes that neat aspirants still do solve the questions given in the ncrt portion and the in text questions the examples the book bag exercise portion and everything and try to do this when you are preparing especially for your school exams because even in your school exams they are going to ask mainly only from the ncrt so make it a habit of reading ncrt every time there is an exam in your school so by doing this you would have read ncrt multiple times and later doing this will not seem a big task for you now moving on to the next reason which is a lack of proper guidance so this is a very important point because sometimes in the long journey of 2 years we tend to get distracted demotivated and deviated from our path of the main goal towards achieving neat so you should have a proper guidance you should have that motivation a driving force that will always push you no matter when sometimes when you fall aside there should be some force to dri- drive you back to the normal straight path towards your goal make a practical time table prepare according to the syllabus and practice regularly refer to good study materials attempt full length mock tests focus on your weaker topics more prepare short notes for quick revision and stay away from guesswork read every topic revise every topic analyze your mistakes manage your time read your ncrt textbooks balance speed and accuracy study learn practice analyze clear your doubts all this you can do only when you have the proper guidance so med edophilia is just a small initiative taken for the benefit of neat aspirants to provide the proper guidance for students in keeping the neat syllabus and the exam pattern help you familiarize with every line of ncrt even without you realizing it in every lecture and concept video you will you notice that it will cover every line every word of ncrt and the five star series mainly focuses on the pyqs and more repeated models of questions solving neat previous year question papers is another vital preparation strategy for neat aspirants and while solving questions students should try to follow a time duration to evaluate their time management skills as well and taking necessary action to improve them Now moving on to the next reason that is lacking time management and hasty OMR filling. So as we all know the NEET exam is 3 hours 20 minutes and this is the time that we get to answer and shade all the answers correctly appropriately. To secure 600 plus marks we should ensure to answer a minimum of 150 questions without writing any wrong answers and this is easier said than done isn't it i understand that many questions are tricky and they have involved a long calculation which is time consuming so students need to improve their time management skills during preparations this can only be done through regular practice and solving sample questions attending many mock tests within the given time frame so you might know everything every question in your neat exam but there might not be sufficient time to share all the answers in the omr 
So what's the use of your knowing all the questions? Isn't it just a waste? So make sure this doesn't happen to you. So this is the most important thing because students mainly focus only on acquiring knowledge and remembering concepts and facts but they fail to notice and realize the importance of proper time management skills but this is something which ultimately matters so this is a very tricky part that neat exam is going to test you so make sure that you don't fall into this trap the last reason is the lack of self belief and demotivation you might face a lot of hurdles and struggles but remember you're not the only one who is facing all this if someone can get a 720 or 720 a perfect score why can't you always set your aims high always do your hard work always accomplish your daily tasks without giving excuses and without getting distracted and deviated and one day you will be there do your best one day you will be someone's hope someone's hero stop doubting yourself work hard and make it happen don't stop until they call you a doctor all the very best keep going never look back if you find this video informative if this video helped in instilling hope in you that you can achieve i would be the happiest show some love by hitting on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you like my content let's ace me together stay tuned thank you so much